In this video, we will be taking a look at Project Memphis, a Windows 10 build completely transformed into Windows 98 Second Edition. First of all, after booting into the ISO image, you'll be greeted with a recreation of the classic Windows installer, the one used on versions prior to Vista. This has a similar behavior to the old setup screen, where you use the keyboard to interact with the installer. Here at your desktop, the first thing you'll see is the appearance of the Welcome to Windows 98 application. This will show up every time you boot into Windows by default, playing its respective music, of course. <laughs> Moving on to the taskbar, clicking on the clock will open up an old version of the Date and Time Properties applet, similar to the one found on Windows 98 and other Windows versions of this era. Clicking on the start button will bring up a recreation of the old Windows 98 start menu. Here you can find items you will normally see on the real operating system, including a link to the classic help program and a Windows 98 style shutdown dialog. Here, selecting the restarted MS-DOS mode will run DOSBox Ets, a DOS emulation program. Selecting the Windows Update item will bring up a reskinned version of Mozilla Firefox version 109, which is made to look like Internet Explorer 5. Of course, since this is a modern web browser under the hood, you can still visit modern websites on here, like YouTube. In this mod, you can find some functional Windows 98 applications like Notepad, WordPad, Paint, Codec Imaging, and the Windows Media Player. Some other applications like Dialer, NetMeeting, and the majority of system tools are not functional and aren't just there for the sake of accuracy. Here at the File Explorer, there's a Go and Favorites item in the menu bar, but they're just there for decorative purposes, as none of the options available do anything. You can also open up a classic style control panel from here. Here you can find some Windows 98 applets such as accessibility options, and remove programs, game controllers, and scanners and cameras. Some others are Windows 10 applets modified to resemble their classic counterparts, like these. Here are also some Windows 2000 applets and a Windows XP Power Options applet. One thing I would like to point out is that when trying to open up the Display Properties applet, you will get some error dialogs, but it will run. It works fine for the most part. You can change your wallpaper and your screensaver, but you cannot change the color scheme nor the resolution. For that, you run the other applet by right-clicking on the desktop and selecting properties. Before I end this video, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who made this transformation possible. You can find everything I've used in this mod, including the people who I source the stuff from, alongside the links inside the included document which you can find at the desktop. If you like this, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.